What's up, neighbors? Welcome back to DIY Makes Sense. My name is Regina. Now, you can already tell by the title of this video, I done replaced my bathroom vanity sink top. And if your sink looks like this or this and you want to fix it, you need to keep watching this video. Now, I cannot stand plumbing, but I promise you there's nothing hard about this project. You can do it too. Now, y'all, come on. Let's get this over with. Now at first glance, ain't nothing wrong with this vanity, but let's get into it real quick. Now at one point I spray painted this thing with some appliance epoxy. The finish turned out great, but when I went to retouch, it just jacked things up. The paint started to chip, the faucet was leaking real bad, but the straw that broke the camel's back for me was this scratch. Aside from that, I really wanted a single handle faucet. Getting to warm water is just so much easier. And not to mention, I found my new replacement top for free on the marketplace. So you know this thing gotta go. Now to start things off, I first need to cut off the water supply. With the water off, now I can disconnect all the plumbing. My favorite part. First the P-trap and then the water supply lines. Now make sure you got a bucket in place to catch all that water. For this step, all I need is an adjustable wrench, but for your plumbing, you may need a pipe wrench. It all depends on what you got under there. With everything disconnected, now I can focus on getting this top off. And to do that, I gotta break the seal of the silicone and the caulk that's holding this thing in place and securing it to the cabinet. For this step, I'm using a utility knife, my five-in-one painter's tool, my metal scraper tool, along with a hammer. Now to make sure everything's nice and loose, time for the crowbar. There we go. Yeah, now it's time to see me struggle. This was literally the worst part of the entire project because this top was heavy and in this tight spot. If you attempt this project and your countertop is too big, too heavy, or in an awkward position, you gonna need some help. Now my replacement top is used, so it needed some work. Here, I'm scraping off all the old plumber's putty, I'll show you that in a minute, and cleaning it up. Now, as I mentioned, I got this thing for free off the marketplace, so I don't expect it to be in perfect condition. Home items like this rarely are. Here I'm using some rubbing alcohol because I really want to make sure this area is super clean because I'm about to install the faucet. Before I install the faucet, I gotta pop on the gasket and put a rope of plumber's putty all around the perimeter. You don't need a lot, and this container only costs about $3. I want a nice watertight seal, so there's no way I'm skipping this part. Here I'm just making sure it's centered correctly before I secure it all the way down. Mm -hmm. 
This right here is exactly what you want to see. Before I attach the water supply lines, I'm wrapping these connective threads with plumber's tape. This is going to help create a better seal and prevent leaks. I'm choosing to do this step now because I have plenty of room and I'm comfortable. If I had attached this top to the cabinet and done this underneath the sink, there's no way I'd be able to get through it. Not with the way my knees and back are set up. Now I've got a tip for you and I've learned this the hard way. When you're tightening down these water supply lines, this copper line can get twisted up real easily. So to avoid this, I grab a wrench, put it right at the end and hold it in place while I'm tightening up the water line. I'm done with this sink top. All I gotta do now is clean it up. Before I mount this vanity top, I'm applying a thin bead of sealant all around the top of the cabinet. Here I'm using 100% silicone. This is going to help secure the vanity top in place. Oh Lord, here I go with this vanity top again. You know what? I'm not even going to cut none of this out. Y'all can enjoy this struggle. Now normally I would apply caulk all around the perimeter of this vanity top securing it to the wall and in place but I'm not doing that in this video because I plan on painting this vanity top white. Once I do that then I'll finally secure it but that's a separate video. With the vanity top installed, I'm going to connect the drain stopper and all the plumbing, which is the water lines and the P-trap. Now before I test everything out and check for leaks, does this DIY make sense? Now had I hired a professional for this job, I could have been charged anywhere from $500 to $1,000 or more. I found my replacement vanity on the marketplace listed for free. All the materials and tools required for this project I already had on hand. So I literally spent nothing on this project. Only about two hours of my time. And to return the favor, my old vanity, I listed that on the marketplace for free. Somebody came to my house and picked it up, so I didn't even have have to dispose of it. For me, this DIY definitely made sense. Now it's time to test everything out and check for leaks. All right, everything's nice and dry and looking good. I can finally check this project off my to-do list. Now I done told you, won't nothing hard about this project. If I could do it, so can you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.